सदा भगवान हसी म जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान हसी म जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान हसी म जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान हसीम 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 जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम 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 जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो जय सच्चिदानंद मुलीनानंद जी ललिता जी मुलीनानंद जी की रिसाइट थी मत प्लीज नमो वित्रा गाय नमो वित्रा गाय नमो अरिहंताण नमो अरिहंताण नमो सिद्धाण नमो सिद्धाण नमो आयरियाण नमो आयरियाण नमो वज्रयाण नमो वज्रयाण नमो लोहे सवसाहुण नमो लोहे सब साहुण ऐसो पंचन मुक्कारो ऐसो पंचन मुक्कारो तव पाव पनासनो तव पाव पनासनो मंगलानंच सवे सिं मंगलानंच सवे सिं अडमम हवाई मंगलम अडमम हवाई मंगलम ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय जय सच्चिदानंद जय सच्चिदानंद
Okay, Jason Chiramatmo. So we've been continuing with our uh, Sambhavi Nikal and looking at our own Prakruti uh, in a one to one interaction. So, anybody wants to share anything? Milani, why don't you? Uh, this is uh, you come for first time on this topic, so you just introduce the topic while Matmas are looking at uh, thinking about this. Uh, what was what, the background? Is the topic is Sambhavya Nikal? Sambhavya Nikal and looking at your own Prakruti in an interaction, how you, you know, how you react internally. Ah, look at uh, you see, in Sambhave Nikal, I suppose it must have already been covered up. Sambhave Nikal. Nikal means to clear up amicably. Sambhav means e uh, equal bhav. Not to be either in favor of rag attachment, not to be in favor of dvesh, abhorrence. Essentially, the principle of this Agna is that by way of discharge, by way of discharge, Intrinsically, there will be continuous likes and dislikes popping up. You know, uh, water is very hot, bath water. Oh, it's very cold. This food is like this, that is like this. I don't like this, I don't like that. This should have been like this. So there are n number of times when uh, it will, uh, uh, by way of discharge, this will happen. And the Purusha today is to abstain it getting entangled into it. To getting, uh, to abstain means Whenever that thought will come, you must say no, Sambhave Nika. That means I am neither in favor of the rag or attachment, nor am I in favor of Dvesh, the abhorrence. So, uh, the decision or the pushars that one is doing today in simply mentioning that this is filed and I want to equanimously settle this file. Sambhav means equanimity. So, at the point of discharge, when thoughts of likes or dislikes are popping up, we make we say that I want to equanimously settle. That means I, the interim state, Antaratma, is deciding that I don't want to get engrossed in that like or dislike. So, that decision making or the decision itself is the Purshat, itself is the Agna Padan. We have practiced the Agna. Moment we say at that point of time, whenever it pops up, that this is fine and I want to be to settle. Whether we are able to settle or not is a matter of the Hisab or account. Depending on the stickiness of that Hisab, it may settle immediately or it may take some time to settle. The Pushar is saying at that point of time that I don't want to get entangled and the moment we say that we have practiced the Agna, that's all. So that is the crux of the whole Agna. And uh, once we decide that, that in case we are meeting some sticky file or uh, some we are caught in a situation where we don't know what will happen. So then you can say that this file has propped up and give me the strength to equanimously settle this file in advance, in advance. And when that we come across that person, then again, you can repeat the same thing. The, the purpose of doing it in advance is whenever that person or situation physically comes in front of us, this awareness will pop up that I have to view this as a file. I have to view this person as a file. And automatically, once that awareness comes inside, you will also say, rather this file has come up, let me uh, amicably settle this file, dependently settle this file. So, uh, this is one of the ways of bringing your awareness while interacting with the person. 
okay. and then once that is there then automatically the appropriate speech and actions will follow now supposing we are not done that and uh, it's normal interaction with the person is taking place and it turns a bit sour or it turns a bit uh, you know a little bit of displeasure displeasure is there then immediately we can backtrace rather give me the strength to square off this problem because if we do it in advance if we say this in advance then in case there is some unpleasant conversation or conversation is veering off towards an unpleasant side we can definitely say this and bring our awareness to the and but that's all once the awareness comes automatically the bhushad will follow then our speech will be such that it doesn't lead to a conflict or doesn't blow up into a major conflict or basically our ego gets subdued we go the subdued so we are in the compromising mode we are in the adjustment mode let the other person be aggressive or whatever but we become in the submersive or you know soft mode and we adjust we adjust but that's all we have to only adjust and square off the accounts so during interaction we can again bring back our vitrata into place we can bring back ourselves into place and make clear of that fight because there is no winning an argument or proving your point on the moksha part it is squaring of accounts one who squares of the account is the winner one who does not get entangled into kashai is the winner he may be a loser in the worldly way he may the other person may dominate him in an argument win the argument but internally he has squared off he has not left any scars behind in the other person's mind he, he, he the other person will not uh, retaliate or decide to take revenge that's all he has let go of us so in the vitrak path it's losing it's winning by losing we win on the karmic account maybe we lose in the worldly account so lagu bhav pops into all this place and we will be at inner peace because we have avoided a conflict we have avoided revenge taking from the other person so we know okay yes we are progressing progressing in the sense we are exhausting one karma settling one account and on the path the moksha means squaring of accounts essentially squaring of all accounts with people or with situations squaring of accounts those that have been associated with file number 1 so file number 1 accounts with people with situations with money whatever it may be that is progress on our moksha path so these two things come to my mind as what is sambhavi nikar and especially the interaction with the person Yes, it's in. You are muted, Dadni boy. Thank you. Yeah, very good introduction. Mr. Boy. Uh, yes, Jai Sachin and everyone. Jai Sachin and Dadni Ji. Jai Sachin and Puri Nanda Ji. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was reading. Uh, this uh, today <clears throat> one of the sutras it is not actually sambhava nikal but it is related i felt it is related to sambhava nikal that the fault is of the sufferer so uh, in that i want to understand one sen uh, uh, sentence in apvani 2 i will share uh, uh, um, what it means please explain it says by accepting the fault is of the sufferer you eliminate the puzzle from one side and by saying vyavasthit you eliminate it from the other side uh this one uh, if you want i can share the uh, yeah. Yeah. no 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 it's fine let me read uh, the little paragraph before that 
uh, lead to paradox. The, the law that fault is the sufferer will lead to moksha. If someone asks us, how can I find my fault? Uh, you would teach him whenever you have to suffer, that is where your fault lies, false lies. You have to investigate what kind of a fault it was that you had to suffer. So you have to investigate what kind of a fault it was that you had to suffer. So when one suffers all day long, then he needs to find out which mistakes were committed. Okay. How do we understand that the other person is at fault? We see the home department, the self, and the foreign department, the non-self of the other person as distinct and separate. We do not say anything if mistakes occur in the foreign department, but we have to alert him if anything happens in the home department. There should be no hindrance on the way to moksha. By accepting the fault is a sufferer, you eliminate the puzzle from one side. And by saying Vyavastri, you eliminate it from the other side. There is no end to the Well, I don't know. I think I may have to see the Gujarati one also. I show you the Gujarati one also. But... Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is okay. yeah. Okay, okay. Huh. I'm uh, okay. I just read one paragraph. Bogotan will kaido moksha puche mare kevi bull rakwani to a monashikar ketane kanka bogoto aveche tari bullche tari she bull as a bogono. I a kodi karje tari su bullche kodi karje ato apo dado bogoto aveche a kodi karu joe kia she she bullche. See, my god, Gujarat is so different. Okay, so in case you suffering all day long, you should find out about it. Someone home and a foreign Juda de Kai. Someone of foreign ma bulotai, foreign ma bunotai, Tomeshu Amekashu Bolian, a born homa, Kashutai, Tomaretene, Tapor Kari for a Mokseta Sudi. My God, this is absolutely different. Fine. I ek ek puzzle puzzle See, now this makes sense. My you see, basically, once the moment we say Bhogavad any bull, suffer is at fault, what happens is that we uh, uh, we know that we are the sufferer. So it is our fault. So it is my fault. That is the one side of the puzzle. And when you say Vyavastet, we see the other person as non-doer. He is not the doer, but Vyavastet is the doer in the sense that other person. So what is one side of the puzzle and the other side of the puzzle? I didn't. Ah, just one minute. One minute. Just let me finish. Ah, just let me finish. Itle, ane itle, ane biji baju vyavasthit. Itle the other person. The other person is only an instrumental doer. He is an instrument to give me suffering. So I see him as innocent. So the when I say. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So, with the other person, we see innocent. So, the other, that puzzle is solved. And I am the sufferer, so I am at fault. So, that is one-sided puzzle. Puzzle on our side, and okay. this is the puzzle on the other side. So, both puzzles. Yeah, I, I, now I got it, yeah. We are stated of, from the other side, person, and the fault is the sufferer is for, for, my, uh -huh. for, my, for my side. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't have to see fault is the sufferer for the other other person's side. This is what uh -huh. the other side. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, and uh, regarding this uh, Sambhave Nikal, you know, uh, one of the biggest file is, is uh, which to face is Satsang itself, you know. So, like, uh, means uh, we see, you know, that see, uh, don't mind that uh, non Gujarati persons have to 
have to fa face, you know, understanding Gujarati as well as if they are not so familiar with the words of the satsang, you know, they have to understand that, you know, in, in, in and they have to understand the deep meaning, you know, it means uh, uh, just uh, uh, superficial will not do in this, in this case because if you don't understand the deep meaning, then it won't uh, set in and it won't be in coming in the conduct, conduct you know. So, uh, I what I feel for Sambhava and Nikal, you know, that, uh, yes, of course, we have to, uh, you know, just do the adjustments and, you know, that all we have to do it and it's our responsibility. And uh, uh, so for that, for that, Nikal, you know, I try to, like you, like you have seen, you, you said that there's a difference in the Gujarati and in the uh, English version. Uh, yeah, there is, you know, there is some sense, but it is also helpful, you know, in the say, at the same time, if we just read the Gujarati one, you know, it, uh, it I cannot catch it, you know, you know like you, uh, but you can catch it, you know, you, you immediately caught, caught it, but I cannot catch it, what, what they are saying, why, I, the reasons I will tell you why. Because, see, sometimes the grammar is uh, not so familiar, you know, for, it is different, you know, Gujarati grammar is different. And uh, so I cannot understand the deep meaning, you know. So I have to see, I what I do is I see the Gujarati one, I see the English one, I see the Hindi one, then I, I ask you. So like that from different, I that things set, set in, you know. Then only I can see the, understand the, little bit deeper meaning you know and uh, sometimes i get the wrong meaning also it happens many times so then i, I when i when you explain then uh, or i don't get the meaning like it happened you know so when you explain then i get it or like that happens you know so this is also a kind of uh, some bhavinikal which i feel you know so to understand the things and to get this uh, you know, this is my some bhavinikal experience uh, I, what I will say is, it is fine. Uh, uh, it is, uh, first thing, it's very laudable. Your efforts are very laudable. That you take pains to read English, Hindi, and and then Gujarati, and then try to derive the, or understand the meaning. That's very good. People don't take so much of pain. So, there are two things which can help you in this. One is asking stuff from Dada, that, hey, Dada Bhagwan, may I understand your science? from your viewpoint. I may mean, understand your science exactly as it is from your viewpoint. That is one strength. And hey, Dada Bhagwan, give me the strength to understand Gujarati. Give me strength to understand Gujarati. Now, these prayers have a very profound effect and they are very powerful and very effective. Uh, by doing so, over a period of time, you will be able to read and understand Gujarati very well which will help you, as you said, to understand the deeper meaning or the subtle meaning or what is the gist of the sentence or words. Because words are used to convey something, but what it is trying to convey will be a little more clearly brought out in the Gujarati version. I'm not trying to criticize the translation, but each language has its own limitations. And Dada Bhagavan had said that uh, those who want to really understand my science will have to learn Gujarati. In future, when people from all over the world will, will get acquainted with Akram Vigna, to understand my science, they will have to understand it because this is the medium which the Gnani has spoken and he has conveyed the science in the best possible way in Gujarati. And that is true. Na? Even if you see other religions, uh, people have to learn Sanskrit or the other scripts in which the original scriptures were written. Because the original masters have spoken in that language. So the exact uh, nuances of the religion are very well, you know, very well, you know, brought out in that particular language. So, yeah, by this, for you, you are, uh, what, you can what, do this. What you this said is correct. Is but what, what I think, what I say, what I'm saying is that actually, uh, it is not that I am. I have, there is no other option actually, you know, because, because yeah, there my is no level option. is, is you are, no, there is no other option. Because you are, you are, you are more fortunate that you are, 
you are more fortunate that you have met dadaji you are gujarati uh, you know background you know and so you have more fortunate so uh, but i am not so fortunate i am uh, fortunate so i have to make extra efforts you know to un to understand you, you know to settle you know to to understand the things you know i have to make uh, there's no other option you know you see you know ne kashyap ji i tell you one thing you see reading is definitely helpful there is no doubt about it such thing will help you but you know what uh, uh, practice my agnas and doing the appropriate pushans as suggested by dada bhai ban by way of yeah. pratikama and samaya reading and all that uh, essentially essentially the real pushat is understanding file number 1 cleansing file number 1 and enhancing this atma jagrati you know? now if we are focused yeah. more on that then yeah. divine grace of dada bhagwan will be bestowed on us and yeah. that divine grace will remove this hurdle that you are facing today that grace itself dada's so, kripa itself will uh-huh. make your vision so yeah. clear you see what will happen is your vision will enhance darshan shakti and gnan will enhance to such a large extent that you will be quickly able to grasp the concepts that are being conveyed in the written material it is speak of the language yes. that is clear so that capacity to yes. grasp the content will yes. be enhanced so then your difficulty yes. or thoughts that you are required to put will reduce that's what i'm saying and regarding the prayers which you said yes that is what i used to do when uh, you know when i didn't understand even this much that is what is and the, that what result this online satsang is the result of the prayer you know? <laughs> and yeah, i remember you used to struggle with hindi and all that and now you are reading gujarati so well <laughs> no that is that is the result what what happened you know this online satsang is the result of the prayers only you know so Uh, and uh, uh, then yeah, and your all your help and all that rajniji and i cannot be grateful enough you know so slowly slowly i am understanding the things you know that i have to make efforts and then you help and you all help you know so mahatma and all this all i am very grateful you know. so Kashyabai, yeah this is my Kashyabai. experience so kashyap bhai yeah let us hear from lalita ben because yeah. she at least you knew hindi which is similar to gujarati yes. But she started yeah, with yeah. Tamil, so let's yes. uh, hear her yes. experience. Let us, let us hear. Yes, Jai Sachidan, Kulina Ji, and Rajni Bhai, and all Mahatmas. Um, we were very fortunate to have met Dada in person, and I did get his blessings in person. So that made a big difference, and I have to give credit to Taru Ben because I wanted to know his yarn in depth. I, you know, the vocabulary was different. The uh, terminology was different, and my, but my only bhav was that uh, I wanted to know this man in depth. And Taruban went through um, one through nine in Gujarati with me. You know, we read, and she would go through the portions with me. And over the years. you know my i had basic hindi when i was studying in delhi so my hindi was just really what we call lower hindi nothing of a higher grasp but my inspiration was people who follow nyanis who are not of the same language or background they take the trouble to learn the language and a uh, case in point is ramana maharishi became well known to the west by uh, an english author called paul brunton and a lot of people came and stayed with him and one gentleman was born after Ma- uh, ramana maharishi passed away but he when he read the book he wanted to find out he went to tiruvannamalai stayed there for 8 years and learned tamil and you know uh, maharishi uh, ramana's talks in tamil are such high flown tamil that even though it is my language it's over my head i have to read the english translations you know because it is just so high flown the poetry that people have written is of high caliber literature 
and uh, really uh, it's like the vidwas who can understand what that is of course ramana simplified it but that was my inspiration that here i got to meet anyani in person and uh, you know like mrs patel told me she said valita we jo samajh mein nahi aaya to theek hai usko alag rakho and aage jao when the time comes it will dawn on you and that has been my inspiration and that's what i wanted to share jai sachidan jai sachidan good nice that's true that's all that's even true for us also even in gujarati there are some concepts which we don't understand i leave it aside in future it yeah, the clarification comes thank you because gnani is at the top and we are climbing the mountain yes so some time to come to his but we are very grateful that dada bhagwan was one such gnani who could uh, bring out the concepts of vitrag vignan in a very simple layman's language which has never happened so far all the gnanis before him maybe bhagavad gita maybe uh shrimad rajchandra maybe the spiritual jain texts and all they are so high that you don't understand it but dada made it so simple and layman language and with simple examples very profound concepts uh, he could uh, bring it into simple day to day language the word file relative real world is the puzzle itself <laughs> unbelievable very simple english words but carry tremendous impact. Yeah, I just want to compliment uh, Kashyap Bhai for making progress in leaps and bounds. You know, you are on the right track and you don't have to have any doubts on this. And like I said, if the understanding doesn't fit now, just have the faith and it will come to you when the time is right. If the other says you are in the, you are in the train now, just you have to wait for the destination. That's it. Yes. yes. Hey, I'd like to share my experience. You know, my Gujarati was very bad. <laughs> I was born in Africa and when we went to after Gnan we went to Korea for 2 years so you know we, we decided we'll take all the nine uh the sutras with us you know and then we started reading Tarubin will read when I'm not at the work and I would read and then I used to bug the hell out of her every Hey, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? And you know, from there, I slowly, slowly learned. Even I couldn't speak Gujarati that fluently also. But you know, I learned slowly, slowly. Even now, I struggle with some words that I have to look up or ask up to put. But you know, now at least, so it's coming to. But you know, I had very bad Gujarati. But you know, like you said, that is great. Slowly, slowly, it comes out. there are okay. words uh, many lot of many technical words in this you know so also we have to understand this is the one thing also you know we have to understand those technical words so okay yeah <clears throat> and okay anybody else wants to talk about uh, sambhav and nikal ajit when you have any experience Uh, it's a it's a work in progress, you know. It's um, like I said, uh, it's more like uh, with practice, uh, seeing the opposite person as a file that I have to do sambhavi nikal and I pray to Dada. That has definitely helped, and a lot of times situation just is diffused by just praying. It doesn't even come to amount to anything. but my files are really internal and don't have too much interaction with people so those are the things i have to deal with and like you said this was a very good point you said that i want to sambhav in nikal without rag or dvesh so whatever thoughts those are the things i have to work on very good now there's a rani rani has showed up i wanted to ask her anyway <laughs> rani Go ahead. because the, she has not been with us for a while and she went away somewhere and she had lot of sambhav and nikal to do rani yeah <laughs> so <laughs> we want to share your experience yes um so i've been i was in thailand and um i was sorry to miss the satsang but i definitely have been uh 
following on video and keeping up with that. So some of the things I, I went, um, I, well, I want to share an experience about work, but not specifically about Thailand. I can share that no, as but before, well. Before, before that, Ronnie, remember last time you were going somewhere, you didn't say where, and then yeah. you said, uh, uh, I don't know, Pulitani was there or not. You said that you had some higher uh, officials going with you and what to say. So you can yes. now share... You can sure. share your, so how did you do some Bhavani call there? Sure. So what definitely the praying for the uh, strength in the before uh, each day. So I had high level officials, um, senior leaders from my own department that were coming um, and representatives from eight uh, countries in Southeast Asia as well. These are also high level people that are coming so and you know you have to please all of these people to your best ability you know and so um Shaila Shananji had given me some good advice about setting intentions the bob in which you go in and uh one thing I was doing was like in the morning doing pratikraman I had to the people I knew I would see that day. And and there were a few that I knew I would get, file number one would get irritated, you know, because uh, they were on my team, but they would come with complaints, you know, and not solutions. And um, by doing the Pratikraman before I interacted with them, asking Dada for strength, um, I, even if I got agitated, I was able to keep it inside and not get frustrated with anybody out loud um, because of all of these strategies through the satsangs that were given um, to the point where there were even two women that came up to, to me and said, I don't know how you stay so calm and are able to deal with all these difficult personalities. And I said, it's divine intervention i did i didn't even i mean i said that's what it is it's literally divine intervention it's not me doing anything but that's um all because of these satsangs these um as practical strategies that we're getting you know i work my whole job which it just dawned on me is preparedness to respond to emergencies, right? And when we're preparing, we're planning, we're organizing, equipping, training. These are all the things, it's a cycle that you're always doing. And I was like, where's the preparedness in my own day-to-day -day life? You know, what I'm constantly in reaction mode instead of planning and preparing to deal with people at, you know, different levels, different expectations, um, seniors that you definitely have to be very respectful and you know if they have a lot of complaints you have to handle that with without any kind of reaction so incorporating these strategies as into that experience like I personally felt I had a lot more progress to make I think I still internally got would get irritated on some days so certainly a work in progress but wanted to give you all that update and i'm leaving again next week to deal with the same thing for another two weeks so this has been um a game changer in my career i think um because of the because of dada's satsang and wisdom and and grace so I wanted to share that experience, but I also had a terminology question. Go ahead. Oh, but before that, has your uh, superiors recognized that you have been dealing pretty good with its people and all that stuff? You know, um, yes. In fact, because of this, because of incorporating this, seeing people as non-doer, like when on, like I said, it comes and goes. I'm being honest. It's not like, you know, I'm far from the end state I want to be in. But through the repetition of seeing them as non-doer, I'll give you another example. In my same department, there's a woman that maybe 10 people have quit because she is so 
difficult to work with. Um, and through Dada's, through Pratikaman, through applying Agnya with this person, someone who just upon sight, I used to feel dread of seeing her because she was very tough. She was, you know, speak very harshly to everybody. And like I said, many people left the department. I'm one of the few people left that is able to work with her. And it's because of this science, because it literally transformed the way I saw this person to where it was instant abhorrence, you know, of like, oh God, it instant. It went from that through, and I'm, it, lots of Pratikaman, lots of Pratikaman, to now seeing all the good qualities that she has. She's a very hard worker. She's very dedicated. There's a lot of good. Literally shifted my viewpoint through that Pratikaman over and over to where my own boss asked, I don't know how you're able to work with her. You know, people higher than me have, have noticed and people at our level have noticed um, and her attitude towards me changed also. She went from being very abrasive, argumentative, to now very, um, you know, normal and treats me respectfully, all of those things. That was all from application, you know, that's seriously. And it, it is, uncle, it's been a 10-year relationship working with this lady, so it's not like a one and done but uh you know that was all dada's grace really oh, that's very very good yeah. very good yeah okay you want to share something before the, the oh the question i had for pulinanji actually was about language it's about terminology i'm a little um wanted to get clarification on is there a difference uh between bhav and purushat and nishche or are they the same thing? Um, could you please clarify, Jay Sachinan? You said bhav, purushat, and nishche. Yes. Are are those the same things? Are those different things? I'm a little confused on the definitions. Ah, okay. okay. See, they are interlinked. They are interlinked. You know, when we say we have to do the purushats, Means it is it is our independent pushat, the, the, the interim state who is deciding to do the pushat. Now the pushat could be of Pratikaman, pushat could be of the five agnas, pushat could be of any type, you know. Basically to you know, to remain in soul, basically not to get entangled in Ragwesh. So that is pushat, you know. A structured effort, you can say sort of. It's not physical, but at the inter internal level understanding level and uh, bhav actually speaking uh, when we say do the bhav what we are saying is just set the intentions you know that you want this you want this you want this actually it is not bhav it is bhavna karo bhavna karo means it, it is a firmness of the mind firmness of the thoughts or the desires that you want to Going to achieve this result. Do the bhavna means have the intention that you want to do this, whatever that this may be. You know? And nishche is also it's 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 a it's nishche means to be firm, to decide or to resolve to do something. Okay. Nishche means to resolve that I'm nishche karuchu that I'm resolving that I will do this. Then I, I, I want to achieve this. I want to, like, for example, I want to understand the other science very well. I want to progress further. So that's your bhavna or your bhav. Mm. That's your bhav that I want to progress further. You know? So we use the word bhav, but actually it is bhavna or your inner desire. Mm. And then, then you, then uh, whatever you said you did, that you would see the Shuddhatma of this hard lady or you pray with Dada and do all that. So that was the pushat. Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 so, so that is where the three words they are different, but they are uh, close, close, closely associated. Close, thank, close, close. thank you, Jay Sachidan. Yes, Mirabel. 
Jay Sachidanand, I'm sorry, I thought Kashyabai was ahead of me. I, I apologize. Jay Sachidanand. Oh, no. yeah. Jay Sachidanand, Pulinanand Ji, Rajnika, Jay Sachidanand, Rajnika. all Mahatmas. I have a question related to what Rani, Lalianti, and Kashyabai were asking. Um, can you, uh, and this is a specific example I'll give you. So we are all married into a certain family. And because of, and and please, uh, please correct my, I'm, uh, for me, Dada's grace has been wonderful. After I obtained Nyan, I felt that I was, you know, literally like the world, it, it was it was an amazing experience that I felt that I was transcending everything. Then again, I crashed back into the world because there are the nimittas that are telling Mira, Mira, you're not there yet. You have a lot of work to do. And so that I am, I am slowly every day doing the purushat because of Pulinananji, Deepakananji, all these satsangs. Now I'm doing, and Pulinananji was the one that originally said you need to do daily purushat. So I do, I'm, Mira is trying to do the daily purushat now. And based on this, I wanted to ask you a question. So my in-laws will be coming from India. They'll be coming to the U.S. shortly. In the past, um, there have been many interactions where uh, my in-laws have been nimittas to make Mira understand all of her faults. And I do pratikraman. Now, I am noticing that despite all of this, and I know that they are, they are nirdosh, they are uh, they are Shuddhatma. Um, Vivastit is, uh, this is the time that they have to come back. There's other things that Mira needs to settle. I've noticed that my chit goes again to, or is it my chit? And this is where I want the understanding of that, of that path. First, I hear, you know, Mira hears her in-laws are coming. Mira feels fear and Mira feels this and automatically all these memories come and my chit sits in those memories and all of these things. What, 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 what do you say? My chit? My chit? What did you say? My chit seems to sit in all of these old ah. memories hmm. and they, it's just sitting in there. I do, uh, Mira does Pratikram and over and over and over. Um, but I want to understand, I'm trying to break down, this Mira's path seems to be to break down each aspect of this path in order to achieve that Sambhavi Nikal, can you please explain the path? So when my when I hear, when Mira hears that her in-laws are coming, she feels fear. I should do Pratikraman then, correct? First. What type of my, Pratikraman do you do? Uh, uh, huh? You said when you hear mm. that your in-laws are coming mm. and there is fear sets in mm. and then you start doing Pratikraman, question mm. is what type of pratikraman? So I I pray to the Shuddhatma of my in-laws and say, I am sorry that I'm finding fear in you, that I'm finding anger in you. I'm finding that I meet as angry with you, that please guide me. You are Shuddhatma, you are Nirdosh, you are... Uh, you, you are beyond all of this beyond everything that is in this worldly realm and this vivahar realm, please grant me strength. Dada, please grant me strength that I never have this again. I repent most utterly. Please grant me. So, Pratyaksha Dada Bhagavan Nisakshi, that, that whole aspect. Then, after, so what do you suggest I do, Pulinanaji? No, no, you see, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if I understand right, what you're mm. saying is the moment mm. you hear them, uh, hear they're mm. coming, fear mm. sets in. The mm. fear sets in because mm. of your past experiences that they will do this, they will do that, and in mm. that way, mm. that they will, they will cause you hurt or harm or you will be discomfortable. Mm. That's the mm. fear. Mm. For that, you don't need to do any pratikraman as such. All you can ah. do is you can ask for strength. Ah. Uh, mm. And the soul within the in-laws that give hmm. this who amicably deal with these people. Ah, okay. The third okay. way, amicably like, give me the strength to amicably deal with people. Give mm. me the strength that uh, 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 my dealings are 
comfortable with them or they are comfortable with my dealings you know emne anuku pare and dealing so that it's it's okay with them yeah just ask for the first friend that's all simple that you don't need this there is no pratikraman in this pratikraman comes when there is an atikraman pratikraman uh, it's an antidote to atikraman atikraman correct so when there is no atikraman you just say then, then first uh, then then uh, so that is one thing then other uh, thing is you uh, have to see to it that uh, how you can erase the scars of the past of their correct. past behavior correct 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 what you what you call as known you know you noted you noted those deep down mm. things mm. Oh, and that uh, is mira made mira's fault only it's mira's fault mira's the suffer mira's mira's at fault no, no, no. so th- how ah. do you then how do you say mira's fault genuinely do you feel that your behavior or speech was inappropriate when they pulled you up for that i must have mira must have done something because mira is the one that's suffering mira is the one that feels ah, the no, 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 no. ah ah That ah. is that is that is only a blanket application of the gnan. Uh, That's a phrase. Ah, 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 ah. But what Me, is the no. fault? Have you you have not found what is the fault? Ah no, the fault is Mira speaks. Mira should not speak out of me. If if an opinion is is given by my in laws, I should not speak out against it because that is where problems come. Okay. Hmm. So you see, hmm. we must. we must try to say there are two things when when no. some elder person your in laws are uh-uh. telling you something which no. you have not tried or heard maybe they are pulling you up finding faults with you you know mm-hmm. with your actions mm-hmm. or with your speech uh-huh. then mm-hmm. what what you need to do is mm-hmm. find out whether there is merit in what they are saying correct correct unbiasedly unbiasedly mm-hmm. in the sense mm-hmm. from your view point from a stand alone mm-hmm. point mm. whether what they are saying that you did mm. like this you spoke like this or you behave like ha, this ha, 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 that ha, was ha. not right ah uh. so from an independent point of view without being from your point of view you must try to find out whether there is merit in what they are saying if it is there is a merit then try mm. to correct that worldly error of file number 1 okay ah okay okay i yes so if That's they say that- ha uh, whatever uh, they are trying to teach you ah uh, there is uh, merit in that mm it may not it may not gel with your opinion it may not gel with your view point or the way mm. you think should be done mm but try to see from their point of view whether there is merit in what they are saying from their view point of view. and whether there is some scope for improvement and on from your side ah uh, that is the first layer Correct. Uh, okay. Thing. So, so if uh. there is some merit in what they are saying, and there is a scope for uh, improvement, uh. maybe you are right. Maybe you are right. But for good relations, for good worldly relations, or for the way the family behaves, speaks, and all that in society Correct. with other relatives, if you feel that is necessary, then accept it, okay. even if it's against your line of thinking. That's the second layer. correct ah, okay yeah. ah, so so, ah. so no nee, that is the only way you will have to accept them they will not be able ah. to accept what they are saying ama right. if you are going right. to view from your view point and from your lens you will mm. not find their advice suitable mm yes look from a neutral view point or from their view point neutral view point or their view point okay Okay, yeah. correct, and, correct. And, and then, yeah. if there is merit in their advice for, and there is scope for correction at your end, ah, uh, then you must do that. And then I do that. Okay, and then so that is the second layer. So, so okay. once you do that, mm. then the hurt that you have got from mm. the mm. of speech will remain is because oh, what they have told there is merit into it. It makes sense, so I should improve. Correct. So then you won't find them as fault correct and amira's hurt is not there because it's a no, it's a not, it's a good thing ha huh. that's fine i want to ask you you say mira did this mira did that are you saying it wordly or are you experiencing it like that so i am saying it only mira feels this so, mira. Ah. so, so i am saying this as wordly only ah, only because only because i so 
many times, many times when that, and, and I'm saying this as any sticky file, because we're talking about Sambhav and Nikal, any sticky file, first, you know, um, Rani was saying she, when she goes into these meetings with the sticky file, that she does Pratikraman. So now that I know that my in-laws are coming, automatically all these previous thoughts come, right? Like all of these thoughts. I, I understood coming. that. That uh, I understood. Uh, so, then I, so then I think, okay, this is, okay, then I have to, then I say, okay, we have to put on a, 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 a you know, I, I pray to Dada and I say, okay, Mira, you have to, you have to look at, I have to look at Mira's faults. Right? Why is why is this happening to Mira? Mira is the sufferer. Why is this happening to Mira? And that's when I was telling you about Mira did this, Mira did that, because I'm looking at it from that angle that you know Mira must be at fault because this is happening. Uh, this is happening in this let life. Me tell you, want... Let me tell you, if huh? you are Mira did this and Mira did that, that means you are separate from Mira. If you huh? are experiencing the separateness, then all these statements will not come in place at all huh? because it's the emperor who is suffering. Atta. Thank you. Thank you. That is so and Mira is not Mira is I'm still not separate you, yet. You, you, you are still Mira and doing all this. Ah, correct. Oh my goodness. That's right. I'm still Mira. I'm not I'm not what I mm. although yes. you use the word Mira did this and Mira did yeah. that. If Mira yes. were doing it, if Mira is uh, facing the in-laws, then you what's the problem? It's a neighbor who is suffering and you are an observer. Uh, but Mira is suffering. So therefore, I'm not you that observer you just yet. Still Mira. Yes. So so, yes. so, so ah. first thing is, you just speak the way normal language you're speaking. I have <laughs> my emotion. This happened to me. This is hmm. what I Now you tell Be me what to do. Okay. Then let me ask because again. This is, this is your level of Jagriti as of today. Ah. What yes. you're doing is not wrong. But yes. that will come at an enhanced level of Jagrati when you mm. are really separate and you feel Mira is doing this. Mm. That is not at the experience level. So you, you yes. can use formal terminology and when you yes. when your awareness and separation increases, then that is true. Then you won't even have so many questions. <laughs> that is so... Oh my goodness, Pulinanji. Thank mm. you. That actually makes so much sense. In this interim government, it's still pretty... <laughs> pretty well, uh, huh? existing. Ah, so it's fine. This is a this is a minor mm. correction. Mm. Coming back to your original mm. this thing, your questions mm. of feeling. So first thing is, you mm. must just if at all you want to do pratikraman of in laws, then you can do pratikraman of all mm. the that you have caused to them. Mm. In terms of behaviors which they did not agree or they did not like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. That all, and then leave it at that. Okay. You're, in your okay. case, it's not so much of pratikramans are required. It's more of understanding their viewpoint and correcting your understanding. Understanding their viewpoint. Ah, ah. ah, what they are trying to say, why they are trying to say, ah. and see how ah. best you can adjust to that. Okay, okay, I will do that. Yeah, there are there are two things. One is your viewpoint and understanding, and one is their viewpoint and their understanding. Mm. Now this is a clash of two understanding where two egos are clashing. Mm. So here, uh, you, the, the, the best route is try to see what they are trying to say from their viewpoint and see how best you can adapt yourself to that. And in and case, adapt myself. Do, mm. huh, so that is the mm. key. So. Mm. Adapt and, myself. Yes, correct. No, I, you have, thank you, Pulinanaji. You've really and, helped. Thank and, you. And uh, once you correct that, once you mm. correct that, there will mm. be still some areas where the two viewpoints will not match. You will firmly feel, no, no, this is not the way it should be done. This is the way it should be done. Now, when that will happen, in those mm. cases, you will have to say something. Mm. Today, saying something which is hurting them and then you're repenting, I should not say, I should not say. Mm -mm, I should mm -mm. say the answer. I mm. should not, because then you will suffocate within. Inside you, your mind will keep chattering. She did yes. like this. She don't, she don't, they don't understand. And yes. know, that, the chattering will go on and that noting portion known will also go on. Mm. So that is not the solution. The solution is mm. when the things don't match and you mm. have to express yourself, then mm. you have the second strength, give me the strength to speak in a non-hurting manner. 
મને વ્યાપાર વાણી બોલવાની શક્તિ આપો શક્તિ આપો કરેક્ટ કરેક્ટ ગીવ મી ધ સ્ટ્રેન્થ ટુ સ્પીક ઇન અ સ્યાદવાદ સ્પીચ ઓર સચ સ્યાદવાદ મેનર ધીસ ઇઝ ધ ધેટ વિલ હેલ્પ ટુ ઇફેક્ટિવલી ડીલિંગ ઇન ડીલિંગ વિથ ધેમ યસ યસ બીકોઝ હા એન્ડ યુ કેન સ્પીક મોમ એવરી ટાઈમ યુ ઓલસો હેવ અ વ્યુ રાઈટ સો યુ હેવ ટુ ડેવલપ ધ સ્કિલ or speaking mm. in a not thing manner where you express yourself without hurting their view points yes we don't have that so we have to develop so we we ask for this strength the moment yes. you ask for this strength and then mm. i tell you it will be very amazing in mm. a sense that a, a, a speech will such your speech will flow in a such a nice manner that you yourself will surprise how say i'm speaking so coolly without hurting them mm it will happen there's no right. ah uh, there's no bite in that ah, speech ah bite ha ah, 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 ah no okay okay because so no. you, you, we are putting one filter in between that mm. give me the friend to speak in a non hurting manner sad mm. manner no mm. the, the you, you 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 put that filter before speaking maybe once mm. twice it required and then mm. if you then you speak now what will happen is a smooth language will flow very ah. you are expressing your thoughts your view points without mm. hurting them and then leaving that that and okay. just leaving that, that so that you have expressed yourself you have not mm. hurt you may still do mm. what they have to do okay okay but you have got the satisfaction of speaking out others if you you keep speak it goes the chatter goes inside and then you still bear bear a grudge against them oh they don't understand they are like this and they are like that and that grudge creates fear whenever we have disgust or a dislike for a person it automatically generates fear ah okay this is the principle of fear if i have disgust for policeman i will be scared the moment i see a policeman yes 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 correct 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 or or a spider or anything ah, um, ah, yes. ah, ah, ah. yeah disgust why dislike ah. what is that now ha 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 about yes. tiraskar what the way say jeno pan tiraskar karo eno bik lage શોર્ટકમિંગ્સ this from your mind a counter balance the short you know we criticize they don't understand this they love like, do like this but you say no they are good in this they are good in this they are good so yes. balance the negative they're, positive they're only trying to help they're they're good people ah. correct all of that that is actually very true that is actually very true but i but me that i i i i i ah. have to put i have to put that place and then also ask for um strength that ah, is this something is, this is ah. just balancing your dislike and your by positive statements yes ha ah, then neutrally stand alone mm-hmm. see whether there is merit into it yes and then asking for strength to speak in a non hurting manner then asking for strength to clear the files so the discuss yes. go away the fear will go away automatically your whole point was i start getting fear and then i yes. do yes. yes. the yes 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 the solution this is the solution yes oh jay sachidan and thank you for the nanji you really yes, like yes. it thank just, you just 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 say they are good they are good they are good you know yes so are yes good. yes they are good and also that i have to, to hmm. i will ask strength. Strength. Ah, give me the, they are good people and give hmm. me the strength to uh, amicably settle them give me hmm. the strength to speak in a manner which they you know, non offensive manner hmm which they like in a manner to speak in in the in which they like So if you ask for the positive statements, you will get the strength. You yes. remove the distress. The fear will go away, and yes. then then you will do real amicable settlement. Yes, and no suffocation. I have really appreciate that word. That is exactly correct. Exactly correct. Yeah. And mind chatter. Exactly correct. Jay Sachidan Pulinanji. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is perfect. I will follow. I will do this. i not I mean, this mira not i i will do this i will do this uh-huh. you know see the understanding mm. true your understanding is correct it is i when verbally we are speaking i but it is really mira 
Yes. You can keep that understanding huh. till you come to a level where you are, you are separate and then Samira is doing this. That is what I pray. I pray to be. Yes. Yes. But I will ask for strength, Pulananji. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have really and just lightened me. No, some more suffocation. Jai Satchidanat. Yes. Kacha Bhai, you have a question? Yeah, one thing I would like to, uh, one or two things that I would like to tell. Regarding this fear, uh, you know, uh, this also, I also have faced some, many times this problem, this issue. So then I, then I saw, uh, due to this such understanding, you know, let's see, I, I, first of all, fear why it happens because I see the other person as a doer, first of all. So that is a fault, clear cut fault which come, cro crops up, you know, at seeing the other person as a, uh, as a doer. So for that, I uh, have to do uh, Pratikraman for the other person. No, Pratikraman and, uh, is and the understanding. Other person is only instrumental doer. <laughs> he is not an independent. Yeah, actually, uh, it helps the Pratikraman because the, in, the, in the Pratikraman, you see also the uh, other person as a as a as a soul, you know. So Sudatma. So that also helps, you know. So that uh, because uh, seeing the other person as a soul, so that calms down the uh, the fear, you know. The pratikraman has uh, one part which has, it begins with seeing the person as the soul. You know? So actually, that helps me, you know. That, okay. That, uh, that no, if it that helps you, <laughs> and, uh, but what pratikraman? And do second you? thing. I, I do that. See, I, I, I've seen uh, that you as a doer, so I should not see as you as a doer. So that is the Pratikraman. Ah, that is fine. That is a Pratikraman of seeing the person as a doer. Okay, then that is fine. Yeah, yeah. So, and and the second thing is that uh, recently I read, read uh, you know, what Dadaji is saying uh, that he, he speaks with other person, you know, before me, in this in such a situations, you know, he speaks with the other person's soul. You know. So that also, I it struck struck me that's a very good. I I, I would like uh, I will be doing this uh, uh, prayog, you know. So it because of the because why it's why it appealed to me is because see, many times we cannot uh, we are not able to speak properly with the other person. So a kind of rehearsal before speaking with the other person. Uh, which starts with this, but the difference here it starts with seeing the person as a shudat. Okay, so that is uh, that that will uh, enhance my uh, practice of seeing other person as shudat because many times this is another mistake which I see uh, which I find that I didn't see the other person shudat mind. So it didn't come. So the the rehearsal which I which I plan to do the uh, to see other person sh shudatma. And another thing is that uh, many times I might uh, do insistence or, you know, this, uh, uh, you know, holding the things, you know. So then in the rehearsal, then I can, uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe take care of these things. Maybe I am, while actually speaking, uh, maybe I will speak something different. But at least the, it is a kind of practice which happens, you know, uh, which will happen. And I can, uh, and verbally, I may, may may not able to speak. Uh, say for example, I have to tell you something. You know, okay? so verbally I may may not be able to tell you t five times. You know, same thing. But but via uh, speaking with the soul, I can t tell you many times. I can make prayer to your Sudatma many times. So that uh, so I, if I speak verbally, you will get tired of my uh, many times repeating. But if I speak uh, via uh, non-verbally, you know, then my mind will get tried, you know. So it is a kind of sambhavya nikal. I find that it will it will lead to sambhavya nikal. This is what it uh, appealed me, Dadaji's. Uh, uh, he said you can speak with the other person, uh, you know, like this. No, fine. If, it, uh, if I may summarize what uh, Doctor Kashyap was saying was that uh, to remove his fear. He uses one of the techniques of Dada Bhagwan of speaking with the soul of the other person before we interact with the other person. 
speaking the same that may I get the strength to amicably settle with this person or whatever he uh, strength he wants to amicably settle. So that is one very powerful tool of uh, speaking with the soul of the other person before meeting the person. Then the other thing is said that when I interact with people, the I see him as the doer, and then I look at his prakriti and the words flow and reaction takes place. And the crux is to see the Shuddhatma also. So uh, if you start seeing Shuddhatma in the other person, uh, I tell you, it will have a very good impact on the other person. Without you saying anything, uh, somehow he will mellow down. He will mellow down and your interaction with him will be smooth. Now, there are two ways of doing it. One is directly seeing the Shuddhatma in that person. So, automatically your attention will go away from the Prakruti so much. And uh, that Prakruti, if your attention goes away that he is the person, then the opinions associated with the person or the Prakruti will also diminish because you're also parallelly seeing the soul. You know? So, that also plays a part. And there are two ways. One is seeing the Shuddhatma in the person or saying that this is the file. The file has come and let me square up you. So, seeing the person as a file or seeing the person as Shuddhatma, both are the two sides of the same point. So, what whichever Purushad works for anyone is both are suitable. So, then he would do Prakraman that he has not seen the Shuddhatma and the other person. Then he found that he insists and holds on to his viewpoint, which he said he realized that now he will reduce. And uh, if there's some fear, then he can repeatedly talk to the other person, Shuddhatma, oh, let me do this, let me do this, or may he do this, may he do that. On the face, you cannot repeat it, says. So his prayers, which is in his mind, he can repeat. That is all he's trying to say. So all these things have helped him you know, for a smooth interaction with people and fearless, I would say, without fear, fearless mode interaction with people. Yes, okay. Yes. Now the time is up. So can you do three months to everybody please follow? Namo Vidra Gai. Namo Vidra Gai. Namo Varihantanam. Namo Varihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayuriyanam. Namo Ayuriyanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Om Jai Sachidan. 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 Jai